Okay, guys. Thanks for tuning back in. Um, we are actually filming one of our last videos without the turbo pot system installed. We are getting our girls ready for the system. Uh, we wanted to kind of veg them up a little bit. We've transplanted into the um, one gallon smart pots, which we are actually not going to tear out of. We're going to actually put these directly into our smart pot system, which is going to create a zero transplant shock scenario. These will grow through the smart pot, guys. I'm going to come over here in my little veg room. I want to show you. I'm going to pull one of these um, nice little plants out of here and show you something very amazing, guys. These plants. will grow roots right out of their containers. See that right there? That's where there's not too much air. See that big old fat tail root coming out there? These will grow all the way out, all the way around once they sense that they're in an environment where there's not air um, constantly around the sides. See right here? More roots. You can see those right there, guys. Oh, look under the tag. There's less air there. There's a lot of roots coming out of there. So anyways, these are not the ones we're gonna utilize. And they're stuffed in here next to each other. Not a lot of air in between them, so the roots are growing out. Once they're in soil, it's going to be the same situation with our turbo pot girls. So they are going to sprout out. We're not going to tear them out of these because we don't want that transplant shock. We don't want to tear these bags open and tear a whole bunch of the roots coming out of these fabric pots. So they're going to live in a one gallon being transferred into a 20 gallon smart pot and they're gonna eventually just grow out of this directly into there with no transplant shock. It's a really good idea we're uh, thinking of. We're using the smart pots this time. And in the future, guys, we are actually gonna be using these. We're gonna experiment. I'm gonna drill some holes in the bottom of these air pots. So these are smart pots, these are air pots. The two biggest inventions in organic soil growing uh, in the last five years or so, um, or maybe in a long time, until turbo pots. I tell you right now, guys, we're gonna add this technology or this technology into the turbo pot system, which we have not introduced yet until this weekend. We're gonna explain exactly what's happening, what we're doing, how you're gonna benefit from the time savings as far as watering, and how the plants are going to super thrive in the environment we're gonna create down in the root zone because we're gonna water air, nutrients, and water down in here, not over the top. We're not doing anything traditionally with our tur turbo hot girls. We're not gonna water them over the top at all. They're gonna be injected. Oh my gosh, guys. Speaking of roots popping out, look at that. These aren't even sealed from the air and I got a root here and a root here and roots there. They're crawling out, they're coming out the bottom, they're coming out all the sides. We're not gonna have problems with the roots when we do our zero transplant shock into the turbo pots because the roots are already coming out. They're just gonna super thrive out of this um, fabric pot or out of the, one of these air pots to get into the soil we're gonna put them in. Uh, as soon as we do that, they're going to establish a much bigger root zone without that shock. So it's going to speed our process up of growing. I'm imagining about a week at least without that uh, transplant shock being an issue. I'm really curious. Next time we're going to experiment with these side by side, a transplant with these smart pots versus the air pots. That's next experiment. This time we're keeping it simple. We're doing the smart pots. Um, I really like them. I couldn't, uh, these are a little more expensive. Um, I'm planning on just throwing these away once I'm done. These here we can reuse, um, but I'm gonna modify them. I'm gonna drill a whole bunch of holes in the bottom because I want the roots to come out of the bottom also, not just the sides, like they will with the smart pot. So we wanna keep the, the experiment even, and some of these air pots actually do have um, a whole bunch of holes in the bottom, a little netted bottom versus the solid bottom. Um, both have their advantages. For my particular purpose, I want all the holes in the bottom, so I'm going to modify these ones to, to have those holes. Uh, one other thing we want to introduce here is that, uh, yes, I apologize, our room's a little messy. I've uh, been doing a lot of watering, watering these girls every day to every other day. They're drinking a lot. Um, we're watering them from the bottom. We're soaking them in water. Um, we're not pouring it over the top. So we're actually submersing these fabric pots because all the roots the biggest problem in growing, uh, guys, in soil is to get that water to transfer from here all the way down to where we have our roots. 
Um, what I'm doing is I'm watering from the bottom up right now in my sink in my kitchen, and our turbo pot system will actually do that automatically in the garage off of an automated watering system off of a reservoir that's going to constantly percolate air, keeping your soup and your organics all live till they're dispersed directly into the root zone. Guys, thank you so much for checking in, watching all of our videos. Um, we're getting ready to transfer all these girls into the tent next door. We're going to take this whole room over and flip these into flour. Our girls are looking amazing. If you've seen any of our videos, they are triple, quadruple the size of what they used to be. Um, they are not wilting by any means. I've actually keep coming in, cropping all of these girls every day. Because when I come in, they're standing straight up like this. All these, look at that. It's going straight up. I keep bending them down every day. And I really, I can't keep them down. They just keep popping straight up. I just bent these down a half an hour ago and they're already straight back up um <laughs> it's becoming a little bit of work i see why people uh use scrogs because it uh will definitely take less work to keep all these girls down if you're scrogging anyways guys thank you so much for tuning in we're going to show you a lot more updates as we move into the turbo pot systems and guys already our test subject is showing a 40 percent gain on their parent controlled test um, subject, which is the same strain in the same room with the same nutrients, um, same light, same everything. So we're performing a test in a controlled test facility, and so far we are already gaining 30 to 40 percent on its controlled subject. Thank you guys for tuning in, and we'll tune in for much more. Thank you.